Esty, what it is. Power 95.3. We've got Ashley taking care of Esty's spot while she is out on her honeymoon. Ashley, it's time for what it is. Yeah, lots going on today, and I wish I had better news on this. What it is, hip-hop is mourning another young death today. 34-year-old Chris Kelly. He was also known as Mac Daddy from the group Chris Cross, of course. Their uh, song in the background, you hear Jump, which everyone pretty much knows. He was found dead yesterday in his Atlanta home. 34 years old, no certain reason yet as to why, you know, what what the death, how he died. You know, the autopsy is going to be done today. One police source is saying it looks like a possible drug overdose. Another police, uh. another policeman said it could have be could have been a homicide. Right. Well, we've got no details wow. as far right. as, you know, uh, was he foaming at the mouth? Mm-hmm. Was there blood? Uh, there's nothing like that. So I can't wait for more details to come through because it, they're suspecting that somebody could have done this to him. Exactly. So, and somebody crisscrossed him. Uh, Sean. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a good joke, but it's, it's just I, weird I, I timing. Can't. Yeah. <laughs> so the only thing really that we know is that he was Respect, found unconscious. RIP, but it, yeah. it was a good joke. Yes. <laughs> he was found unconscious. So um, we will uh, obviously keep you updated once we find out what the autopsy report shows back after that happens today. And uh, Chris Kelly's mother came out with an official statement after, uh, of course, tons of outpour from celebrities and fans. She said it, it was it is with deep sadness that we announced that our beloved Chris Kelly has passed away on May 1st. To millions Damn. of fans worldwide, he was trendsetting, backwards pants wearing, one half of Criss Cross, who loved making music. So I, our thoughts I, and prayers sh- to their family. Man, I used to have their tape. I'm not going to lie. I used to have their, you know, the their Criss Cross tape and Jermaine <laughs> Dupree and all. And we wish them all, you know, our, our thoughts and prayers to his family, for of real. Of course. And what it is with Lil Wayne. Remember, not too long ago, he was seriously hospitalized for six days. He, that's when he was in ICU and reportedly almost died. He explained his health condition back then. I'm an epileptic. I'm prone to seizures. Like, this is my this is my first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh seizure. I've had a bunch of seizures. Y'all just never hear about them. And this past Tuesday, he was hospitalized yet again for another seizure. He was released yesterday, though, actually. He tweeted out, I'm fine, thank you, because, of course, after that first stint, we didn't hear from him for, you know, a few days. We Everybody wanted to know how he was doing. So he came out right away on his Twitter yesterday saying, I'm fine, thank you. So good news is he is out of the hospital, and also he may be engaged, which is kind of crazy. He's actually going to be in a reality show on MTV and he's overheard on that show saying, my fiancé is Italian. Wow. Yeah, he's got a girlfriend of two years now, Dia Sedano. So. Hope he doesn't pass away before he gets married. Yeah. All these stories of seizures. I know. I hope he I hope he gets better. Well, she's probably thinking, let's get married before he does so I can get paid. <laughs> <laughs> get some more money. That's just wrong. <laughs> and that's what it is. We do it the 50 of every hour right here on the Obi and Lil Sean Morning Show. Today.